Hello everybody, Glorious Game back with another unboxing, and in today's unboxing, my hair is going to be crazy, but also we'll be unboxing Alter Bridge, Rock the Sky, the vinyl. We won't be taking it out of the plastic wrap though, but we will be taking it out of the box, and then also along with that, I'll be giving you my review of the album in, t in full, in total. But yeah, uh, if you do like that kind of stuff, please leave a like and end subscribe and enjoy and then also um uh there'll be another unboxing later today for wwe 2k20 don't know when my package from best buy will be showing up but it will be showing up i know that and then also one last update um so uh, within the past couple months or past month or two uh, my dog has been barking but no within the past couple months um, I've been trying to record with the camera facing the other way, but it pointed toward me, so the angle is facing me, because that way it doesn't mirror anything in the image, because if I use front-facing, it mirrors all my images for some reason. But I decided to just switch back to a front-facing camera, so it's facing me, and it will mirror stuff. I'm sorry, but... Sometimes I record unboxings and either the angle's too high or the angle's too low or the camera's, the angle's, you know, like the, you know, you can flip it. It's face towards the uh, TV. And I don't want to deal with that anymore. So until I get a new phone or a camera, we're going to be seeing some reverse stuff like it's in a mirror. Cool, I guess. Well, I hope y'all don't mind that. I just hope you enjoy the unboxing. But with that said, let's get in to the unboxing of the Alter Bridge Walk the Sky vinyl. Oh, oh, this is my third one of theirs. I'm trying to collect all of them, have them fully sealed. And um, by accident, I ordered the deluxe edition um, CD from Napalm Records, which isn't a bad thing. It's just I thought it was a vinyl. And I thought I was getting the deluxe edition of the vinyl, but it turns out I got the deluxe edition of the CD. It's not bad, because it it came with some awesome stuff. It came with a huge uh, quilt type thing that you could hang from the wall. It came with a shirt and a wristband. And, and like this framed picture thing. And that's pretty cool, but next time... Um, next time they release an album, I'll be sure to order the deluxe edition vinyl. Just be sure. But, uh, no big deal. I mean, the shirt, the wristband, and the, uh, the, um, the box, and the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the picture, the frame picture thing, really turned it around for me. And, uh, yeah, I just ordered the album off Amazon, came here, uh, in a couple of days, so, uh, yeah, but, yeah, let's get into it, and, uh, yeah, I just didn't want you to think, it's like, why'd you order two vinyls, it's like, no, I didn't, I thought one was a vinyl, but it turned out to be a CD, I love how my scissors don't like to cut, oh, wait, I have my box cutter, duh, 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 here we go, there's a, uh, that's a blade. That's a blade right there. Oh shit. I hope I don't cut myself and die. Cause that'd be horrible. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that looks lovely right there. There we go. Cool. Oh, oh. Oh shit, that looks really beautiful. Okay, don't drop it, please. Ooh, oh, oh man, dude, I love this art on this album. But, oh man, look at that Alter Bridge. Oh my god, that's so, that's so beautiful. That's one of the best album covers I have ever seen, Walk the Sky. I'll show you this way too, Walk the Sky. Sorry, it's a... Uh, reversed but it's what i gotta do what i gotta do i mean what i choose to do sorry but until i get a new phone uh you know that has a front facing camera that doesn't reverse stuff then you know enjoy the reverse but we will be giving my review along with this unboxing okay so uh, yeah let's uh let's let's get into it 
Okay, so I'm gonna list off the tracks and give you my thoughts on them. Okay, One Life, I, I mean, I enjoy it, but I, I really think it could have just been the start of, uh, of another song in this album. But, I mean, it's a good 1 minute and 23 second song. That's not even a song. That's like a ringtone. But, you, you know, it's it should be an intro to a song. And I really just, you know, remove it from the album all, to, all together. Because it's not even that long. Then, we move on to one new rather favorite. Oh, man. That, that, just the guitar riffs in there really kills it for me. Plus... I really enjoyed that they released teasers. I don't know if they do this with every album that they have released, but I I really enjoyed the teasers, which was uh, "Wouldn't You Rather," "In the Deep," um, uh, "Pay No Mind," and "Take the Crown." All fantastic teasers. Love every single one of those songs. And "Wouldn't You Rather" is just up there in my top my top favorite album uh, Alter Bridge songs. Then three is in the deep, same up there, favorite or not the favorite, but really good, really, just really good song. Godspeed, it's like within my top three of the album. I, it's so fantastic. I I, I just love it. I love it. I love it, man. Then you got four. Oh no, four. Four's Godspeed. Five's Native Son. Another one. My uh, that's like my top five, maybe top three. It depends on where it lands. Then we got six, Take the Crown, one of my favorites, maybe in top ten of this album. Then we got seven, Indoctrination, it's grown on me, but I think it's the least favorite of the album. I don't know why, I, I feel like it has too much repetition of the same lyric. And, I mean, it's a good, like, set of lyrics, and it's a good hook, but, you know, it's just like, okay, can you think of some other lyrics? I mean, I love miles kennedy's voice but you know it's like okay come on do something else but it's a really good uh hook or that's what i call it a hook it's just the song that you know you can bop your head to then we go to uh the bitter end this one's really good um i i think it'd be my top four or three within my top five it's really good i, I just love the meaning of it and i think it, this is what I got from it. The bitter end will come in due time. So just enjoy your life. But then it's never too late to start living right. So if you like drink a lot in your early years. You can turn that around in the end. You can just you know. Uh, become a non-alcoholic. Or just drink till you're dead or whatever. I mean you know whatever you choose to do. No no, uh, no matter what or whatever. <laughs> but you know. Uh, yeah. That, that's what I got from it. You know, the bitter end will come in time. But don't worry, because you can turn it all around and start living right. Then, after that, we got Pay No Mind. Really good. I really love the start of that. And just the, I don't know. I love the guitars and the, the, the guitars, the guitar rips and the drums and just everything about that song. Then we got Forever Falling. It's by Mark Tremonti. It's a Mark Tremonti only song. Seems like it should have just been on a Tremonti album. Tremonti album. But um, you know, for what it what what the blah, 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 what the lyrics um or for the lyrics in there, they're really good. I really like just, I, I, and it's very repetitious. But, it's, but oh my god, let me get my fucking tongue straight. It's very repetitious, but I enjoy it still. I enjoy Mark Tremonti's voice, but not on every one of his songs. He needs some lyric writing tips from uh, from Miles, clearly. But, uh, you know, some of his songs are really good. I like uh, Take You With Me. And that's about it. And uh, this. Uh, but, uh, you know, he plays a killer guitar riff. Then we got, um, we got Side 3, which is Clear Horizon. Uh, I think that's my second or... Number one favorite song on here. Uh, Walking on the Sky. It's uh, it's pretty good. Um, I need to listen to it a couple more times. to Like, I like it, but I don't know if I like it. You know what I mean? Like, I like it, but not fully. You, you get it? I half like it. So maybe a couple more uh, listens would uh, change my mind on that. Then we got Tear Us Apart. I think that, I think that one's 
uh, the favorite one of the album. It just kills it in every aspect. The intro, the the intro, the middle, and the end, all fantastic. And then Dying Light. Dying Light's really good, too. Uh, I don't know, like, the intro and the middle part really do it for me, but, I don't know, some of the, some of the near the end part doesn't really do it, but in total, in total, this is a fantastic album, I think it's my third favorite album, and some here and there songs that don't connect, really, or not connect, some here and there songs could really use, uh, second, third, fourth, or fifth lesson, but, you know, and One Life really doesn't need to be on there, that's an intro to a song, and Forever Falling, you know, I'm willing to overlook that as my least favorite song, but in total, it deserves maybe a seven and a half out of ten for me, really kills it, they kill it every time they release an album, and yeah, fantastic, love Alta Bridge, and Cannot wait till their next album. And I don't know when that will be. Maybe in a year. I think it's every two years or every year. They wait a while. They're like one year uh, Kennedy does it. And then the other year Tremonti does it. But with that said. Fantastic album. Definitely pick it up if you're a fan. And also definitely subscribe if you want to see more Alter Bridge uh, vinyl unboxings. Or anything Alter Bridge unboxings. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Do, do you like it? Please subscribe. <laughs> and then also stay tuned later for the WWE 2K20 unboxing. And man, oh man, I can't wait till that gets here so I can play it. And I can I can, I can play it and play as people and play as Tommaso Ciampa. And uh, yeah, but with that said, guys, if you did enjoy this Ultra Bridge Walk the Sky album um, unboxing, please uh, let me know down below, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on the road to 400 subscribers, and also tell me, have you picked up Walk This Guy yet? Have you listened to it? What are your thoughts on it? Is it your favorite album or your least favorite album? Let me know down below, and with that said, see y'all in the next one, and uh, bye bye